Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about personal branding and how you can use that in your business and why do you need it in your business today and all about you know biz business building with personal brand in mind and why is it that you need that today anyways I already said that so just make sure you let me know where you're watching from if you're watching the live let me know if you're watching the replay let me know and if you're listening to this because I do podcasts as well this episode is also going to be pr produced as a podcast so you can also you know, also go just listen to it we're going to talk about personal branding businesses online how to build a business online using personal branding and what is personal branding right after this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so if you're wondering what is personal branding and if you know what it is and you're like why do I even need to use that in business I mean aren't businesses about a product like you know coca-cola is all about the coke right drinking that 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 pop drinking that um carbonated you know the the juice with 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 bubbles in it and the taste of whatever the taste is I don't I don't know how to describe it but we all know what coke is right coca-cola and pepsi and we know what nike nike is all about you know a, a a shoe or exercising and they have this this brand about it and uh, you know kleenex is all about you know m paper tissues so you can blow your nose when you have a cold and and you know all these brands these are businesses they have brands they have why are we to all of a sudden talking about personal branding and what is it so if you don't know what personal branding is first let's just cover that right what is personal branding so personal branding is about making you the brand right so okay what does that mean so you're if we're talking about um people looking at your business so say you have a coffee shop or say you have a, a pizza pizza restaurant or you have a, a car you know a me mechanic shop or you or you own a store or you have a business online that sells kites or you have a business online that 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 you know teaches people how to make money online right or you you have a website with courses or things like that whatever it is that your business is like me I've got a business a, a website that you can host your courses on right you can host your courses on you can create funnels you can set up emails you can have a blog on there that's a platform that lets you do all of that right so that's what I have so why do I why am I branding myself and not that right I could I could be creating ads I could be trying to target people that want to host courses I could try to compare my site to all the other sites out there that let you host courses I could show you the difference between my funnel creation versus other platforms I could I could do all that and not even be in any of the videos and not be in any of the posts or anything like that and just try to promote my business right that's it's not impossible it's it is possible to do that the difference is that today everything is about people it's about personal relationships connections social media is all about connecting right relationships if you go to Facebook if you go to LinkedIn even uh Twitter maybe not as much but still you know Twitter they're all social platforms where people are using you know their phones to to connect to, to find out what's going on in the world and if you are just a regular business you know they're going to expect you to act like a regular business regular businesses what do they do right what do the businesses do the business has been around for 50 100 years well they spend money on ads they promote their brands they make a story around their product they post ads they create you know they put um, prints in magazines and the newspaper on the tv they have commercials in the radio they have commercials they have billboards all these things that's where you're going to find the brand and and how do you you know if you don't see an ad for coca-cola you probably you might just think oh you know what I'll buy pepsi today right but if you keep seeing ads for coca-cola 
you probably gonna want the coke when you go to the store that's just how marketing works right so now how do you do that? like okay so you can do that right you I can do that I could create ads for that right but the thing is that that is gonna cost so so much it's totally insane how much it's gonna cost to do that so that's where personal branding comes in it's not because it's not because personal branding is better although you know it is because if you think back 100 years you know your grandparents when they were living in the small towns in the rural areas and there were and the, who was the most popular person in town it was the person who liked talking to everybody the person who asked questions the person who got into their you know not got in meddling or lies but found out that actually you know there's that person too right the meddler right the person who wants to help everybody who wants to fix everybody nobody really wants to be that to be around that person they want to be left alone but the person who goes and is interested in what you're doing and what you're up to and what your goals are you know the the person who asks oh wow so you're 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 thinking of building what you're you're going to be doing that oh cool man I know people that could maybe help you or if you ever need any help let me know you know the person who's out there who's asking people what is it they're doing what are you why are you doing this what are your goals what are your ambitions you know you're you're trying to build you're trying to double your garden in the backyard because you want to start selling the apples or not <laughs> apples it's not a garden you want to start selling the carrots or the potatoes or whatever it is that you're growing and you you're doubling it because you want to sell half of it to the to the to the to the community well that person who is there who's asking who's finding out what people are doing that everybody's going to like that person there how do you get to like to be liked because you're telling others about that person who's got the garden and they have they're going to have carrots to sell and finding people who are interested in buying carrots and they're connecting people so that's what that's the person who was liked 100 years ago today it's the same thing the difference is it's on social media it's online it's not in person but you have to be that same person that's what personal branding is about it's who are you what are you about and connecting with others so if you have a business and like for me like I said a course hosting site whatever I'm not gonna try to peddle that I'm gonna talk about it sure because I want you to know that I have it but I'm not gonna try to sell you the site I'm rather gonna ask you what is it you're trying to accomplish and maybe my site can help you maybe not and if it can't help you then I'll find out maybe as I talk to other people right I'm gonna find somebody else who might be looking for what you got and then connect you together so it's about connecting people it's about letting people know who you are what you're about and it's so that's the thing right personal branding is about being you and letting people know what you are about who you are and creating content online that that lets that showcases is who you are what you are like me okay let's go and show you a couple things if I share with you let's say if I go over here I gotta I gotta set up my share if I go here and I show you now uh, let's see well I guess I guess I can show you let's go over here I'm going to make a new page here let's just share that right over here so you know if I go to uh, say uh, my Facebook page right if I go to Facebook right you can see on Facebook you can see pretty much more or less what I'm about because if I if I go to my if you go to my profile you're going to see that you know I'm a I'm a DevOps I'm a, a technical person you see all these things I, I've done right and then you see some of the pictures I post you see some of the things I share you see some of the videos I, I post you see you know the kinds of stuff that I talk about uh, you can see that I'm posting videos you can see that I'm I like sunsets you can see you know that I've, I'm part of these groups uh, you can see that I have daughters and you can see all these things about me so you know about me so say say for example you you have daughters too right you you want people to see that you have daughters you want people to know what you're about you want people to so this is one of the things you got to do on social media but the other thing is you have to be connecting like I'm actually on Instagram on Snapchat on Twitter on Facebook on Pinterest on TikTok you know I'm everywhere right so because of that 
I'm probably not as 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 active on on one platform that's definitely one thing you should be doing is try to be more active on one platform focus on that but you've got to build your brand you who are you that's what the personal branding is all about it's who are you not not what your business is about you you don't want to you don't want to be focusing on that it's just like if you were to go to a family barbecue right you go to a family barbecue and and you're and you're posting you know you're 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 ask well you're not posting <laughs> so if you go to family barbecue you're not posting okay you're talking to people you're telling them about your business you're telling them oh my god I just started this awesome uh, restaurant or I just started this great website uh you should really go check it out go go to, to to whatever address and go check it out and and oh my god this is so awesome so in that case you're talking about yourself you're talking about what you're doing you're talking about your business you're not so you're not talking about you as a person you're talking about your business people will run away from that that's the same thing on social media people will run away from you if and this is the thing so that's one of the things I try to do which I haven't been doing a great job at is I try to mix my stuff up with with some personal stuff too I can't just be posting about my 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 videos about my content and all that stuff right so personal branding is who is your family right what are you about and you have to be um connecting with people you got to be asking so far if I go here I go to my friends right I'm going to go to one of my friends here and I'm actually going to go to his page right uh, whoops I clicked uh, more than once so now I'm going to go over here I'm going to say uh you got to build relationships how do you build relationships that's because that's one of the things right about personal branding you got to build relationships so how do you do that well you start by you know looking at what people are posting you like their stuff maybe you comment on some of this whether you think you can or you think you can you're right that is so true that's just a simple little thing right I just post that and then I can go back to and then and then this so this is a relation now this guy here he's he's trying to build an online thing and that's what and that's a good example for example let's go back to him so that's a good example of one of the things that you got to be careful of right he's posting uh things about his business right so but you can see look he's got a post here about his kid uh, I guess that must be his, his son or maybe it's just a picture but I, I don't know I don't know him yet right this is just a new friend that I just so but he uh posts oh yeah he's into into uh, Russell Brunson stuff and yeah so that's good but um you can I can find there's lots of other people I connected recently with a lot of people why is this why didn't this work and oh that's why I was on the right place okay so if I go to my friends over here the other friend let's see I, I have no idea I connected with these these people Brimo Morales setting uh, so this is another person I just uh, connected with this is uh, So this is somebody who's doing videos that's another thing right you do videos like what I'm doing you do videos that's certainly going to help people to know who you are what you're about right so it looks like uh she's done a virtual summit or she's going to maybe let's take a look at that it's black sorry that the screen is black it's not low oh, there it is online marketing genius virtual summit oh, okay join you in speaking okay so that was April 27th that's cool yeah good stuff and okay anyways that's that's another one of my friends so that's one of the things on Facebook that's one of the things you want to do you want to be going to your friends pages and commenting on stuff because you're not going to see much of their stuff on uh in your timeline because Facebook will only show you a few people's stuff and they're not really going to show everybody so that's one of the things personal branding is all about connecting on a personal level right I'm just gonna say love this like that and uh and then uh yeah so and that's one of the things you connect on a personal level so you got to comment on people's stuff then you can go like if you're trying here's another thing right you want to connect uh if I go for example to my group to groups here is that no that's the groups right here 
if I go to groups and I'm looking for my groups wealth infinity club I don't even know <coughs> I don't remember that group but I've joined that group apparently oh this is a this is a a, a a crypto thing so let's go to online course for example course I do courses I do course a course hosting site right so of course I'm going to connect with I'm going to go into course creation groups that's my niche that's what I'm interested in I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to start I'm going to comment on things especially uh, you know people that are posting in here and I'm going to go and like the stuff that they're posting I'm going to comment on things obviously and I'm going to look at this so requesting you know like a LinkedIn cover your opinion which you prefer oh. that's nice both are great but looks like a lot of text maybe find the one one thing and put that in the image and put rest of text in So anyways that's it. so you just you know you comment you connect and the other thing is that they, here's the other thing right you can actually go let's say I look at uh, somebody's uh, post I can look like her for example right I'm going to go to her page uh view profile right so I'm going to look at her page I see look she's got a, a looks like a beach or some sort of a, a rural area that looks awesome she says uh, she empowers people in biz on uh, mind body nutrition and health and you can see look she's posting things about food right she's posting that's a, that looks good <coughs> looks like a yummy salad right whoops yes okay so I'm posting that actually you didn't see there you go looks like a yummy salad hey yeah, she's got other things in here case cases is happy to announce oh that's her right cases and like that too now the other thing you can do is you can connect with people right how do you connect you just click add friend you go to the next add friend go to the next add friend no you want to connect with them you want to send them a message so let's just uh, move this over here so you can see it so I'm going to send her a message right I'm just going to go and say hey Cassis saw saw your post in course group and, and thought I'd say hi love your <coughs> your content is that a beach near your house in your color photo right so you do so you ask them a question that's personal to whatever you're seeing on their page right and so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to say I'm going to say PS 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 sent you a friend request now the thing is that <clears throat> you do that right I'm going to click on the add friend and then I'm going to send this so now I've sent her a friend request and a message right I've sent her a friend request and a message and now this person here <clears throat> Be, you know chances are there's much higher chance of them accepting my friend request if I send them a message plus Facebook likes that better too so that's one of the things on Facebook you want to be doing to build your personal brand you want to be connecting with people you want to be growing your audience using the platform so the platforms on on this on on Facebook right on Facebook it's all about social connections I mean it's a social media platform why do they call it social media well because it's social because it's people it's not businesses connecting it's people connecting even if it's a business there's a person behind that business right and it's media because it's physical well not physical but I guess virtual or, or computerized or it's media media as in videos and audios and and, and pictures and you know it's media it's 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 uh and so and platform because you know it's a platform right place where you can 
post things and see things right so I mean that's what personal branding is all about it's about connecting it's about building a brand it's about telling people who you are so you can do that on social media but you can also do that like I do with a blog right if I if I go to my blog when you go to my page jeansergegagnon.com or jsgagnon.com you can see the the posts I post every day right like I've been these are the videos that today's edit today's episode is going to be a video on there too it's going to be a post on there too I do that pretty much every day even though today is Canada day it's a day off at my day job I still want to do this at least this video here right which is an episode I do every day and and like I said when you when I when for example I go to uh and if I go to LinkedIn right LinkedIn it's the same thing and LinkedIn you do the same thing so whichever platform you're using do that right go here and connect if I go to for example my network over here and so I got a ton of requests for connections I got 705 <laughs> I probably I I know, haven't been you know going through and then this is all the people I could potentially connect with but then the other thing is that I actually did a training not long ago on how to grow your LinkedIn connections I grew my LinkedIn connection to by 1200 in one month once I mean in the past I haven't really been focusing on LinkedIn much but I did that because I followed certain set of rules a certain set of things to do and that's about your personal brand is is part of that it's part of who you are what are you doing where are you and you know making it so that it's consistent across the board you know your profile picture has to be the same everywhere your profile picture has to be the same your cover photo has to be the same or at least because the format is different you know if I look at this if I go to my profile here you can see that I've got the same you know cover photo so when people look at it they're going to be like oh I know this guy I've seen him before if I go to Facebook it's the same thing right on Facebook uh where's your home if I go to my profile right you can see it's well actually on Facebook is one of the exceptions where I change the cover photo to be family based because I'm using Facebook more as a family kind of uh so people get to know who my family is so that's why I have my family picture here but if I go to Twitter Twitter I have the same uh, cover photo there too if I go to my profile right you can see I have the same cover photo the same profile picture right there and I post this this these 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 things that I share through an automation thing right um and uh, so that's the other thing you got to make it consistent your profile picture should be the same across your different platforms uh your cover photo should be the same even your tagline it should be the same across uh, the different platform like here actually I've I've been lacking there but that's one of the examples of the things you should probably try to do is on your uh on your profiles you should have the same tagline so people know who you are and what you're what you're about uh what else what else so that's anyways but that's what personal branding is personal branding is all about these <laughs> you know having these connections with people that are on a personal level so you want to build so okay so here's the thing so why do you have to build at a personal level you want people to know like and trust you but and that's when they're going to buy from you people buy from people they trust people buy from people they like people don't buy from businesses unless the business has spent millions of dollars or they've been around for so long right on ads so if if you don't have millions to spend on ads which most people don't and I certainly don't then you can build your business using your personal your personality you grow your personality how do you get people to know and like and trust you you the, you know they got to see you they got to so you got to be connecting you got to be commenting that will get people to see your stuff on the social media platforms that's kind of how it works the more you're active on the social media platform the more you post the more you comment the more you like things the more you share things the more you're active the more you do what the platform wants you to do right the more it, they're gonna like you so this is an example right if I if I if I go to this guy's you know page I just go here I just like his stuff or comment on this stuff obviously you don't want to just go like 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 I just did there you want to take a few minutes to look through the people's uh, stuff right and you want to go and like this but you want to comment uh, right now I'm just going to go do this just to kind of show you one of the things right 
that you can do that will increase your engagement Facebook will show your stuff to just a certain number of people it's not going to show your stuff to everybody because that's just how Facebook works it shows it the stuff that you've it shows your stuff to others when you're engaging on other people's stuff it's a reciprocity platform most most social media platforms are like that the more because there's so many people on them they can be showing everything I mean I've got close to 5,000 friends I can't see everybody's stuff obviously I'm going to see their things if they are engaging with me and if I engage with them then that causes me to engage that causes me that causes the platform to see that I'm active that I do things and it lets it shows the stuff so that builds your personal brand so that people get to start to know you right once they know you they they that's they they'll make a decision whether they like you or not they can't they can't like you if they don't know you right nobody's nobody likes somebody un, until they know them it's the same that's the same thing in movies why is it that movies have a, these these in, character introductions right and things like that so people been in, in movies you build the character at the beginning so that you get to like that person based on knowing them you can't just you can't just like them if you've seen an actor in 50 movies then yeah you probably already like them without even seeing what their character is about in this movie but when it's a new actor you've never seen before or even if it's a new story that you don't know what the story is they're going to build that character up that's what you're doing on social media platform by commenting by posting by 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 reacting to things people start to see what you're about so does the platform and it starts to share things and that's how you get to build your personal brand so that they eventually trust you so people won't trust somebody unless they like them <laughs> nobody's gonna trust somebody they don't like it's just human nature so that's part of the whole thing how do you build that in social media is by creating content by engaging by commenting like I said all this stuff so one of the, th the other things you can do too is uh let me show you here one one of the other things you can do if you've got a bit of money um if you've got a bit of income if you can generate if you can spend a few hundred bucks on ads then what you want to do is you want to do is you you want to use a retargeting I'm just going to go to my ads manager so I mean I've been I've been I've disabled a bunch of ads yesterday I have been setting up ads to grow my audience right I've got all these ads right here can you see oh you can't really see what these are let's go back here so I've got these ads right these are all just a bunch of videos all these videos I do every day I post on Facebook right I post these videos and I've been uh, creating some TikTok stuff mostly well not mostly I've been doing different things but I've been produce uh, I've been promoting the TikTok stuff but the thing is that I'm promoting it so that people see my stuff you can see right here uh the three second video views you can see the the number of impressions the reach right the reach over here the reach right the results the impression the budget I'm just spending a dollar 40 a day per ad the minimum you can spend this is how much I spent so far on these ads because they've been running just a few days um overall uh you know I spent 613 in the last 30 days so it's not it's not nothing but it's also not a huge amount right I could have spent I could certainly spend thousands more to grow my my audience even faster but even then you know so if I go back here to my audience so what I've done is I've created an audience a custom audience and let's just show you right here so I've got these audiences they're save audiences some of them are saved audience, like you know Russell fans right or I've got uh Gary V fans right or I've got just women who like Gary V uh, I've got TikTok TikTok uh targeted audience people are interested in TikTok and then I have the video viewers people who have viewed my video so I've grown that to 4200 so far right I mean it started nice and slow every day I would post now I've got 4,200 people in that list and then I can retarget my other videos so what I did so I'm growing this by adding videos to a to a list and then that grows and that grows and that grows and then I do ads that retarget to those people so I have these seven videos that are all about TikTok that I'm retargeting for people that are interested in TikTok right so that's 
growing these people and they're getting to know me because they see my videos all the time and they're telling them because I'm, I'm targeting them directly the ones that have seen one video you know how you go on Facebook or you go and Google and you search for something and all of a sudden you start seeing the same stuff you just search about say you search for pants you're going to start to see ads about pants right or you look up Eric worry all of a sudden you're going to see Eric worry videos right or you look up to, uh, Tony Robbins or I mean all these leaders that's what they do they do retargeting so that's why you see their videos again after you've searched for them or after you went to their page or any or their blog or anything like that that's what this is about I'm doing the same thing so and I'm gonna grow that differently right I'm gonna have some other I'm gonna create another custom audience which is people have been to my website or been to my blog that kind of stuff I can do that too and then I can target them and that's one of the ways you grow your fan base so that people know who you are and where you're from and what you do and you just you just you know they just do it you just do that you, you keep getting to build your personal brand so that you, you you use that as people will buy like from you if they know like and trust you how do you get them to know like and trust you you gotta have a personal brand you gotta be talking about yourself you gotta let them know who you are what you're about then they're gonna buy from you all right so that's why you need to do personal branding and that's how you grow your business with personal branding in 2020 all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.